Hey Megan Scully and this is the Liverpool Show and I'm delighted today to be joined by Fiona Doyle aka Moonsore and um, you have a modeling agency and you're a stylist. I mean is there anything you don't do? Oh god there's plenty Megan. <laughs> it's lovely to, have, or to be on with you here today and thank you for having me. Not at all. So look let's we're going to talk about colour analysis which is something I'm really interested in I think a lot of people right now as well could really do with it but first tell us about your own journey into becoming a stylist and what it involved. Okay, well, I've, I've ran Glamour Agency for nearly 10 years now. Um, I've always had that passion and interest in styling ladies uh, and men, but I've decided then just to go that one step further and to train to become a personal stylist. So I did so in Ireland, but didn't want to be compartmentalized into one person's way of thinking. Yeah. So I wanted to learn about how men and women dress in in the capitals or fashion capitals of the world basically and I decided then to travel to Milan and London and train with accredited style academies one and one there and then train to America and France as well um so yeah I'm delighted that I have accreditations from all these academies now around the world yeah it's incredible and as you said like you get to bring in so many different I suppose like with all different countries there's probably so much different style and everything so you get to bring it all back home then yeah, I mean, I suppose what I've picked, the tips I've picked up in, in every country have been very different, um, but just, it's a fantastic experience and just to be able to bring that back and, and I suppose educate this, what my knowledge now to other women and men as well, which is, which is great. And I think as well, I suppose at the moment, um, you are a teacher as well, and you're obviously not in the working school at the moment because all the schools are shut. I know you are you have to be teaching from home, but I guess that means that you get to do more stuff on your color, color analysis. Now you mentioned this to me before, but what exactly is color analysis? Right, well, color analysis is where we look at your natural coloring of your skin, your eyes and your hair, and we see which colors uh, balance and harmonize with your natural complexion. Uh, we can all wear every color, but it's knowing the, I suppose, the, the undertone of the colors that we can wear. So what shade of blue you can wear, what shade of red and so on. Um, Personally, knowing your colors, I think is transformational. Mm -hmm. um, when we wear the right colors, we feel more alive. It gives us an instant lift, makes us look younger. We were kind of wear less makeup, less shadows under the eyes, um, as opposed to wearing colors that, that don't really suit us, can drain us and have more of a negative effect. You know, so once we finish doing, actually I'll just show you the drapes. We use the drapes, so we do color analysis through a process of elimination. Now it can be done online as well, um, but we use these drapes and uh, yeah, we, we put the drapes up around your, your face and then we can determine, as I say, which color category you belong to. So we belong to one of six. Um, and then we de determine your undertone. So if you're warm or cool categories. And then you leave them with a palette of colors, about 36 colors that you can use to go shopping with. Um, and it avoids making those, those impulse buys and shopping mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I know. I think we I all know. Do. I'm very guilty of that. Now, I'm not saying that you can't wear a particular colors. We can wear, you can wear whatever color you like, but certain colors do suit us better than others. Yeah, I do notice that sometimes I pick up a colour and I'll put on a dress and my mother straight away, if she's with me, she'd be like, no, that just doesn't, it washes you out or it just yes. doesn't like, whereas as you said, some colours you wear and they just automatically brighten up your whole face. Exactly. Yeah. Well, so for me, for me, I couldn't wear those muted colours make me look very washed out. I, I'm more of a, a clear or bright uh, colour category. So they, they would suit me a little bit better than, than the pastels or the muted colours. Um, that I would need a lot of makeup and I look very drained and if I do wear them so it is I mean from my own journey and personal experience it is it is brilliant because we all love black and don't get me wrong black <laughs> is a fabulous sophisticated chic color and Coco Chanel glamorized it but sometimes we wear black um for not the right reasons but but we can talk about that in a while anyway so yeah, yeah. so that's I want to talk about, about, yeah we want to talk about the power of wearing certain colors as you said there like I suppose and I, I think um like there's certain colors that are kind of, I suppose every season we see fashion designers bring out certain shades. And then I think then people think that you kind of have to buy what's in season, but I suppose you really should be buying what is your color. No. And I think, I mean, sometimes we ch try chase that image that belongs to somebody else, mm -hmm. but it's not really, really who we are because we're wearing colors that just might be in fashion, but they might necessarily suit us. Yeah. So I really think that once you know your colors and you stick to that, it does avoid those those silly mistakes that you know of, of impulse buying and just buying what we think is on trend whereas it might not actually suit us yeah um, I think we all have that one color that that is our power our go-to color that we know will actually pick us up when we're feeling that little bit down or yeah, yeah. it's funny because when I lived in London I was there for a year and I always used to wear really bright colors every single day and everyone used to comment in the office saying you're always so bright looking and I was like yeah because 
even if I'm having a bad day, the bright colors just automatically pick me up. Or, you know, when I, if you're in the bathroom, you walk past the mirror and you kind of catch yourself. And I'm like, oh, I'm actually yes. bright today. And it did make a difference. And I had, I purposely never wore black that year because I just felt that I, I sometimes if I was down or anyway lonely over there, the black colors sometimes made me feel darker in a way. So I just found I always wore bright colors, no matter what my mood was, just to try pick me up. And it really actually worked. It does. No, it does. It does. Definitely. Definitely. I mean, wearing certain colors, research has been done on this, mm. um, that certain colors can combat negative emotions and feelings of being down, you know? So, I mean, uh, black, as I say, it's a, it's a chic, it's a sophisticated color, but if you're feeling a little bit down, you know, it mightn't be the best color because we can hide behind it. It makes us a little bit invisible, you know, um, uh, that you're better off to maybe to try dress mindfully and pick a color that is going to combat that emotion that you might be feeling. So for example, at the moment with COVID-19, and it, there's a lot of anxiety around, mm -hmm. you know, um, a, a lot of people feeling a little bit, you know, down, out of sorts. So actually, believe it or not, blue is a great color if you're feeling like that, because if you think of the sea the so, or the sky, automatically it has a calming effect of wearing yeah. blue. So it's a great color if you're trying to communicate or even as I say, just to if you're if you're a little bit anxious at the moment, uh, it's a great cam in color blue is, and also a great color to show. It's a great color for honesty. It, you know, um, uh, it's a loyal color. Great color for a guy to wear in a first date. Blue. No way. Shows, Interesting. Honest <laughs> color, yeah. And think of the guards; they were blue, so that's a, a trustworthy okay. color as well. Yeah. So, yeah. So and you have a lovely blue blazer on as well. Yeah. This, this is my this is my favorite color. Um, at the it's a, it's a color that I, it's a pick me up color for me. Yeah. Um, I, I like to wear, I like to wear blue, you know? So, I mean, it, it, everyone has, I think that they have their power color or their color that can, can lift them a little bit, you know, um, which is important to know as well. Cause mine's, and not be afraid of it. Yeah. Mine's certainly purple. I'm wearing my favorite purple top and this top always, always just makes me happy every time I put it on because it's kind of got a fringe in it and it's purple and it's just, I always just feel like it's my fun top. I love purple. Purple, yeah, it's a great color. And actually, purple is one of the universal colors, which means that we, it suits most of us. So, yeah, if not all of us as well. And I was just saying to you about purple earlier there before we came on air that it, it's, a, it, um, it's a great spiritual color, believe it or not, as well. And a color if you're looking for a little bit of balance in your life or healing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because yeah, we, so we've touched on there the psychological effect of colors. But I, I mean, you mentioned there about people in this um, who are stuck indoors now. We were just saying, you know, it's, I suppose, when you're kind of wearing pajamas and tracksuits every day because, you know, we kind of feel like there's no point dressing up to go around the house. But yeah. is there any certain colours that you would recommend for people to wear maybe if they are feeling a little bit, I suppose, isolated in their own home and a little bit kind of, you know, as, as anxious you mentioned and maybe just a little yeah. bit. Kind of, I think people are kind of like a bit kind of, a little bit down about everything, not being able to get out. So is there maybe colours that you could kind of say, try wear these around the house just to even pick up your mood? up your mood okay so if you're feeling a little bit you know that we'll, we'll be waking up now feeling the energy mightn't be there because we can't you know some of us can't get outside um think of the sun it's yellow so that's a great color to put on uh orange is very big great in color as well it will lift you as well it's a fun color it's a lively color now i'm not talking walking around head to toe <laughs> <laughs> yellow or orange but even just putting on a scarf or you know um you're not even if if you're not leaving the house, just put a little, even print, a top of a print in it or a t-shirt that's orange or, or something like that, you know, and a color that if you're, another great pick me up color is red. If you think of red, it's the first color we see. It's the first color the eye sees. That's why it's um, used for stop signs or, you know, for a lot of branding. Um, that it's, it, that's another great color to wear if you're feeling a little bit depressed as well. Red is a great color. It does increase, it's been proven to increase the heart rate as well as the color associated with passion. Um, another color for, is pink, great color for, if you're looking just for self-love, it's a great color to wear as well. And another, and another um, it, it shows loyalty as well. And uh, yeah, green is a very fresh color because we're not getting outside to be back at nature. So they say actually wearing a little bit of green, uh, think of the grass, you know, the freshness yeah. and balance, balance and healing. A lot of surgeries you'd see would be green. As I say, it's a great, it's a color we associate with being healthy. Um, so as I say, I'm not talking head to toe, I'm just a little bit of <laughs> colors yeah. yeah a little pop of scarf or as I said a little t-shirt exactly. actually, even actually you know you're wearing purple there yourself purple is associated with luxury brands as well when you think of um a lot of the high-end brands they bring their packaging comes in purple as well so it's a it's a nice oh, wow. just a feel <laughs> and, and royalty they all wear it you know what I mean so yeah just it's what you're doing for yourself it's the one little thing you can do every day for yourself is just to put on a little pop of color just to 
to make yourself feel better, it will trickle into how you feel throughout the day. Um, and that mood is infectious as well. You know, it, it is, will transfer into those around you. So just, I know, I know it's difficult and it's, I would be back in my active wear later. I love my tracksuit. Um, but just sometimes I feel wearing it all day, every day for yeah. me doesn't, doesn't help me. So that's just a little tip that I do. Um, and even if it's just wearing a little bit of blusher, you know, just a pop of, a pop of color with blusher or a blue eyeshadow, you know, it's awesome. just little things. It's absolutely incredible. It's so fascinating. And um, I suppose, I know everyone's kind of I suppose, stuck indoors, but everyone's on social media, so everyone can see what the, what's going on in the fashion world. What would you, what is this year's like colour trend? Or is there a colour trend that's kind of at the top? This well, year? yeah, this year the Pantone Institute introduced classic blue. Um, oh. it's, well, actually, coincidentally, is the colour of honour. It's like a royal blue. Yeah. Um, that is the colour trend for 2020. And again, it's, I mean, this was all... Uh, pre-COVID-19 that it is a colour that's associated with calmness and communication and all that. And I suppose we all need a little bit of calmness in our life at the moment. So uh, yeah, coincidentally, that is that is the colour for 2020. But it's a colour that, uh, it's quite a universal colour as well, suits most of us. Um, and there's so many colour combinations you can do with classic blue. I mean, you see here, I've just the white, looks great with black. Orange is a fantastic colour to wear with love orange blue. Um, Actually, purple, what you've on you now, and this color is great. Pink, mustard, navy. I mean, there's, there are endless options to wear with classic blue. It's our, our royal blue. Um, it's it's a, the other name for it, or cobalt blue as well is another name for it as well. So yeah, there's a shade of this that suits everybody. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's really, really, I love it. It's just so strong as well. Now, finally, Fiona, I have to ask, how are you getting on? How are you finding this cocooning? Yeah, it's different. It's brought us all back, hasn't it? It's kind of critiqued things a lot. I mean, we're uh, back to real simplicity, and um, which is nice. I mean, so once we all can stay safe, I think, and do what we're being told to do, um, which we're doing our best with the little toddler around the house. It's great fun and very challenging. Um, between trying to do, make and do our classes with him at home as well, but he's he hasn't a clue. He just thinks it's one big party. He's not going to school everything. <laughs> Um, I suppose I'm trying to keep routine with the kids I'm teaching at the moment as well. We're just trying to send out a little bit of work to keep them busy. Uh, but just, I'm getting out for a little bit of my 2K walks every day. Um, I am, as I say, putting that little pop of color, uh, whether it be just that little bit of blush or a little bit of perfume, a bit of lippy or something like that, just to make myself feel good. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I suppose, we're adhering to what we're meant to be doing and keeping away from everyone. But thank God for Zoom. And, I know, uh, <laughs> it's life-changing. You know, and, just, and you know, when I'm following interests and reading books that I never um, got to read before and back doing dressmaking, which is, wow. which is something um, that I had started and just trying to finish a few pieces now. So it is, which I would not normally have had the time for, but the days are just keeping busy and trying to keep the brain ticking over and, and keeping in contact and reaching out to those people that might be on their own as well every yeah. day i think the sense of community is definitely stronger which is great to brilliant see. yeah it is definitely now before we let you go where can we find you what's what's your social media handle well i'm fiona doyle stylist on instagram under glamour agency on facebook um and i'm under my own name on on linkedin as well well fiona doyle it's been an absolute pleasure and learning about all the colors and i can't wait to learn more about it and as i said i think now when all this is over we'll all be delighted to get back into shops and pick up all the colors that we need Yes. Well, do you know what I was saying? It was just a case of just every day, just doing one little thing for yourself um, and just making that little conscious effort to wear that pop of colour and, and to dress mindfully, I suppose, really. Yeah, exactly. Keep ourselves, keep ourselves, I suppose, going and, and keep ourselves happy as we can. Exactly. Exactly. Fiona Doyle, thank you so much for chatting to us on the report show today. Thank you, Megan. Thank you. Stay safe. Okay, thank, thank you. you.